Hey everybody, this is Darren Van Dam, and you are watching Flick Connection, the show that helps you get more out of movies, and today I'm going to tell you all about the new Pet Cemetery reboot. So this is going to be a spoiler-free review of Pet Cemetery. Uh, I'm trying not to spoil anything that you do not see in the trailers. However, the trailers for this movie have a massive spoiler that I'm not actually going to share. So hopefully you didn't see some of the later trailers for this one. If you did, it doesn't ruin the movie. It just, it just robbed you of a good moment in the movie. I'll start off by saying that I feel like this is very much a Stephen King movie. Now, that may seem obvious, but there are a lot of movies based on Stephen King books, and not all of them feel like Stephen King's work. In fact, one of the best horror movies ever made, in my opinion, is The Shining, and he even denounces that movie as not really being representative of his work. A great movie, and he's a great writer, but the two are kind of separate uh, when it comes to that movie. However, this does feel very, very Stephen King to me. And part of the Stephen King vibe is there is a little bit of a throwback vibe in it. This is not the like overly polished uh, movie like, like It. Now, I really liked It, and I, I will say I think It is the superior recent Stephen King reboot, if you will. I think it is better than Pet Cemetery. However, Pet Cemetery has some charm that It did not have. It was in my opinion, maybe a little bit too polished for a horror movie. And I think horror fans, uh, particularly ones that maybe didn't love it, are maybe going to like Pet Cemetery more because of those elements. And what are those elements? Uh, a lot of fog, uh, bubbly water, uh, and just some creepy elements. And, and by that, uh, it's some ethereal stuff uh, that you didn't get in the original Pet Cemetery. that is very, very Stephen King dream sequence stuff. Uh, so those elements to me felt a little bit throwback, uh, but not, not necessarily retro or cheesy or anything like that. They just helped it feel like a better telling of the novelization that Stephen King did. And another thing that contributed to that was they packed more in. This movie's almost two hours, which is fairly long for a horror movie, particularly compared to uh, the original Pet Cemetery. but they fit more in it with the time. They didn't just drag it out. There's a reason it's almost two hours. They, they added the, the extra storyline with the wife and, and a backstory to do with her sister. I'm not going to spoil anything with that, but that all... Uh, I think added to the creep factor of the movie. Uh, it wasn't entirely necessary, however, it did serve as a catalyst multiple times, so it, it worked well and did not seem out of place. And on the note of, of the wife, uh, I thought the cast was great. I thought she was great. I thought Jason Clark was cast really well as the lead. John Lithgow, I like him. I think he did a good job. I think he was kind of an interchangeable character. I think uh, there's some other people that could have maybe played that a little bit better. But he did He did fine. But Jason Clark is really the star of this movie. Uh, if, if anything, he's a bigger star than, than, than this movie really deserved, maybe. Uh, but, you know, he's got kind of a spooky look to him, and it really worked out well for the for this movie. And he's just a great actor, so I thought that he was really well cast. The kids were really well cast. Uh, the, the boy looks shockingly like the boy from the original movie. That put me off a little bit. I was thinking about it a little bit too much, uh, but it's not a big deal. It, it keeps moving, you know, for it to be almost two hours... It really does move along at a pretty good clip. It was never like at breakneck speed, but at no point did I feel like there was really a lull in it. So who is this movie for? Who's going to want to watch it? I think Stephen King fans are going to like this movie. I think if you particularly like the, the books more than the movies, I think you'll enjoy this movie. I think if you're a fan of the original, there's a lot to love with this one. I'd be curious to know if you are a fan of the original, do you like this one better? Do you hate it? What's your opinion there? Me, personally, I'm fairly indifferent to the original. I mean, I've seen it multiple times. I like it enough. I don't love it. So I didn't really have expectations or high hopes for this reboot. And uh, I gotta say, I was mildly surprised it was good. I will watch it again. I would honestly put this on par with uh, last year's Halloween reboot. I thought, uh, I, I, I maybe enjoyed Halloween in the theater a bit more, but on a second viewing, 
it was okay. And Pet Cemetery, I enjoyed it on the first viewing. I bet you if I watch it again, and I probably will, I liked it enough to watch it again, I'm going to have kind of the same, same feeling towards it. Hopefully you are encouraged to go see it. If it is going to be for you, hopefully you're discouraged from going to see it and you go see something else if you now find that you're probably not going to like this one. But I will keep making these spoiler-free reviews as long as you keep watching them. Thanks for checking this one out, and you will see me on the next one. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so a number of ways. You can become a Patreon supporter like one of these fine people. And you can also check out the podcast. Next week, after this video goes up, I'm actually going to have on a fellow YouTuber, Spooky Astronauts, who is a huge Pet Cemetery fan. We're going to be talking about the best horror movies from the 90s as well as this Pet Cemetery reboot. So look forward to that. Go over there. There's a link to that podcast channel in the description.